Hey everybody, look what I got. This is a Union Pacific. It's a Union Pacific Vertida turbine, I guess. These were after the World War II and everything. You could pause the video and you can kind of, if you want to take the time and try to read it. But that's pretty cool. Got it off eBay. The guy was asking 277 and plus I forget what was shipping, like twelve dollars for shipping. And this is made by Atherin. That's why I had to go to Atherin. I went to Atherin. And also a couple people on eBay. They helped me out. Uh one guy says contact Atherin. This other guy he actually went out of his way to help me out with this, which is awesome. And then uh, after they gave me an email with this PDF right here of this. So this is a, I, everybody's talking about this is all-wheel drive. No, it's not. Maybe on some, maybe like the, um, what do you call that? I think, I don't know. Um, museum type one. It's just the, like, one truck here and one truck here. It's kind of short. And you get a turbine. It's almost like $700 for the one that museum show. And it has like this big tender here. And it's got this little tender behind it. Because the turbine's in this part. But this one is like one big unit. So turbine's all in this. And look sound. Or lock sound. Mix the sound. Or I got the sound file. Or I got a DCC decoder coming today. So that's going to be awesome to hear this puppy fire up. And it came a little bit damaged. Which is no big deal. We fixed it. Or thank you to my brother. He helped me fix it. This part got damaged in the shipping. This was bent down. You can see a couple of here is broke. A couple of here is broke. I mean, they must have slammed the box. Because it had a big, nice ripple right in the back of the box. This was already like this in the picture, so I mean, as this seen is what I get. No instructions, but I got the instructions right here. This is like the parts list. And how do you know it's not all wheel drive? Well, it tells you it's not all wheel drive. And I think it's just the museum type is the ones that are all wheel drive, I believe. These are just one axle. So this axle drives, this one axle has a drive, and it's got like maybe. Four wheels that drive the system. As you can see when I flip it over. That's what it looks like. And it's made by Atherin. It has a 21. Or I mean 9, nine and an 8 pin. Or is it a 21 pin. I think it's a 9 pin to an 8 pin. But. I was too tired. I bought the wrong decoder. I forgot to buy the one that actually has the pins. This is just a one without the pins that you just plug and play. But me and my brother, we have plenty of those pins, so we just wire the side of the wires to it, or we can just take the wires here and just wire it that way too. So it's gonna be either way easy. And I'm really excited. I got this on Friday. Got here today, Monday, by FedEx. 
not happy with FedEx at the moment, but it is what it is. And I got two more items coming from FedEx. I'm hoping to God that they don't get damaged because. <laughs> so, and right here is how me and my brother, we found out that this wasn't all-wheel drive like everybody's been talking about on YouTube. So you can see three wheels here goes to the first truck. And then you got these three wheels back here. And you have two other wheels that have drive. And... Oh, I'm sorry. So, okay, so these two wheels. Oh, I'll be dead. They just spin. So, the, technically, the only ones that drive. Two. Are these ones right here. So, it's only four wheel drive. Pretty much. So. Just these two, oh, actually two, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, four wheels. I'm just too excited and too eager. So, two wheels in the front are duds. Two wheels right here are the drives and duds. That's what I call it. So, not bad, but still you get power from these wheels. These wheels, like it gets power, so. Maybe one day I can make it all-wheel drive somehow, but until then... Don't think I am. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is, cause that'd be complicated. And I think they did that for a reason. And the detail of this Atlas is amazing. Look how big that motor is too. And the coolest thing is, you can kind of see it right there. So, and this is pretty cool. And right here, oh wait, not this one. This paper, not this one either, that's a parts list. The parts, I mean. Here it is, the body shell. As I got the screen that goes here, I have it behind me so I don't lose it. I gotta glue that on there yet. But uh, here, it has people where you can put people in it. A lot of people are like, oh, on YouTube, saying, oh, too bad I don't have people. Well, guess what? When I take this baby apart, just stay tuned for the surprise that I'm gonna put in it. Or actually, me and my brother are. He's going to help me with it because, yeah. So, this is pretty exciting. So, now let's actually look at the details on this Atherin. And this is DCC ready, which is pretty cool. Try to be as gentle and careful with this. So, it had, I think the number lights, I don't think they do light up. They're supposed to, but I don't know on this one that does. But it's got light there. I think two lights there. There we go. And here's what's funny. My brother knew about these engines. And here's what's funny. I actually didn't know about these engines existed. And let alone in HO scale. When I found out how much they were. <laughs> they were pretty pricey. But I had to get one. I fell in love with this one. I was going to get this other one. But it was brass, made by, I forget what company made it. And I was like, no, I don't want nothing like that old. I just changed my mind, because it was like 250 plus shipping, about what I pay for this, 270 I was like, no, nah. I found this one. Immediately, I fell in love with the details and how the engine looks on the side. This is, to me, unique. And kind of cool, you see how much, right there where that little crease is. That's where she was bent down at. My next train, I can't say what I'm going to get yet. It's going to be for N-Scale, so this is HO scale. So stay tuned what I'm going to get next for my HO. This is kind of cool. This is the only one that didn't get damaged too much. I don't want to break nothing. And it came like this. The guy said there's some scuffs, but I don't know. Mike goes, maybe it's not scuffs. Maybe it came from the factory that way. Because this side looks like that. This side's mint. So I'm like, yeah, maybe. And the reason why it's got a little light here that plugs into... Oh, no, I didn't think about that. Okay, the plug looks okay. Oh, thank God. I already contacted the seller to let him know, hey, they, uh, I know he won't do anything, but I'm just going to let him know, hey, I got the item and it came damaged that way. He knows. Gives him some self-esteem. Hey, he can take it up with FedEx if he wants to, but it's up to him. But I think what this light, this little wire is for is 
the low light in the back when you put in reverse and stuff. And here's the box that I came in. And you can just see how badly that got hit. Ooh, CSX. So we got my brother here from Foster Armada Rival Club. He's helping me doing this real quickly. I mean, I could have done it, but he volunteered. Plus, I bought him an 18 pack of uh, or Pepsi anyway. Beer. <laughs> so it's <was> bribe. <laughs> but uh, I'll just set that up there for right now. I need to get my contact tape. Yeah. The factory electrical tape coming loose. All right. Um. Yeah, we got. He's got the decoder all soldered into the pins because. When I bought it, didn't realize it had the uh, the pin that drops in, which is my fault. But he's ready to be tested. Sweet. Already done. Driver's cab. Hit go. Here's the horn. It's just the way that they got test file. Oh yeah, that's better than theirs. F3 is the turbo. Whew. Or it's just a uh, turbine. Oh yeah. And then the set down sink tent. I had to turn that one down a little bit. I think that's just, I don't know if that's the speakers. Ooh. Yeah, I might have to turn that one down just a tiny bit. Oh, that's. That's my ears. Decent startup. I changed some settings around. Oh yeah, before I go, I forgot to show everybody. Thank you to my brother. He put people in there now. So the Union Pacific uh, turbine, gas turbine, can only hold up to 26 cars. I did have what, 30? 31? 36. 36 cars and then do quite so hot, I think. I was like, alright, it can do it. I mean, it has no problem, but it had to be full throttle, just move it. And I'm like, no. So, 25, well, I got 26 cars, he kept the caboose. Especially the other one. I love that horn. We're going back on eight. Actually, I'm going to make it 12.
So my train fits in my yard or our yard just fine. Engines here goes all the way around to where this caboose is at.